Two very important parameters for designing a test are the test abort limits and the test tolerance limits. I want to take a look at those today. Let's go to new test and let's take a look at the sign test and advanced tab. And in the advanced tab here we are going to see profile tab that we've looked at already which in indicates the frequency range and the particular G levels or displacement levels however you set it as well as the schedule tab which we looked at in a previous video regarding are we sweeping up and how long is that test going to run. In the limits tab you're going to find here a way to adjust the tolerance plus and minus and the abort plus and minus limits. The tolerance plus and minus limits are the points at which the controller is going to switch from the startup mode to the run mode. And generally this is set at a plus or minus 3 dB level. Um, we can, we have opportunity to change it to a particular percentage of the control, um, but this is where the controller is going to switch from startup mode to run mode. The abort limits are the max deviation that is allowed from the, the specified pulse at which the uh, controller is just going to abort the test to protect the shaker or protect the product. Um, there's an abort limit that we're going to set and uh, that's generally 6 dB. So in the sign test, that's found under the limits tab. If we open up a random test, advanced tab, you'll see those abort levels already on the first tab under the table tab where you're setting up your whole profile, your breakpoint table, you are able to change the tolerance levels and the abort levels. And again, here you have opportunity to change not just in decibels, but uh, a percentage or even a particular G squared per Hertz level. Most times it's going to be in the standards and general convention is to do it in decibels. You also can change it in the uh, limits tab just like in the sign under limits. Here are the spectrum limits, the tolerance and the abort values and again opportunity to change them to a different setting if you so choose. Very important every test has these particular levels and uh, represented here in a, a red abort line and uh, these dotted tolerance lines and uh, that's how you make sure your test is fitting to specifications so that they are within the tolerance and abort limits.